then all the national assembly this time around to the lower chamber. The House of Representatives has passed for second reading a bill seeking to repeal and enact the Standards Organization of Nigeria Act with provisions to increase penalties for offenses relating to the standardization of products in the country. The bill contains provisions to criminalize the production, manufacturing, importation, distribution, display, advertising for sale, or in any way dealing in some standard life endangered products. Plus, Japanese correspondent Emmanuel Ehigini completes the report. The Standard Organization of Nigeria was established by Act No. 56 of 1971. Its establishment was aimed at developing, coordinating, or otherwise contributing to the technical standards of products coming into the country through the seaports, airports, and through the nation's borders. To this end, the Green Chamber, as a way of strengthening this core mandate of the organization, has decided to impose a custodial sentence of five years without an option of fine for defaulters who break the standards organization laws. The bill also mandates the organization to publish annually products deemed as life endangering and propose a 50% increment across the board for all fines under the old act to align with current economic realities. The amendment also expunged the power of the organization embedded in the old act to destroy Azadia's goods without an order from the courts. That the bill for an act to repeal the standards organization of Nigeria Act Chapter S9 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004 and enact the Standards of the of Nigeria Bill 2002 for the purpose of providing additional functions for the organization, increasing penalty for violation and for related matters. HB 169, read the second time, as you proposed, Mr. Speaker. In order developments, the House urged the Chiefs of Defense and Army to commence a comprehensive investigation on the assault of residents of Boko and guests of Oud Ban Hotel, Boko by men of uh, the 401 Special Forces Brigade of the Nigerian Army. In a motion sponsored by Honorable Mark Biller from Benna State, the lawmaker expressed worries that the same team of soldiers was allegedly responsible for the extrajudicial killings of at least two persons in Boko in two separate instances on the same day. The Chief of Defense Staff and the Chief of Army Staff should be summoned to appear before the House to explain how their members, their men of the Army, are not trained appropriately with rules of engagement in civilized civilian communities and have resorted to attacking people. And finally, Mr. Speaker, this same team of the 401 Special Brigade are alleged to have killed two people for allegedly snatching ballot boxes. Mr. Speaker, I do not want us to set a precedence in this country where men of the military can kill extrajudicially for the sake of ballot book, I do not see any crime that requires a death sentence. The House also considered the report of the conference committee on a bill for an act to establish the National Center for the coordination and control of the proliferation of small arms and light weapons in Nigeria. As well as the report of the Committee on Health Institutions on a bill for an act to amend the Federal Medical Center Act to establish the Federal Medical Center, Eastern Ogbolu Akwaibom and four related matters. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.